Well, I'm uh, sad to say that uh, it seems that uh, this big leech, let me get out of the wind here, this big leech has uh, has died. I, uh, I had hoped to uh, bring it home, to put it into a uh, terrarium and try to uh, recover the creature. But being run over on the on the road was fatal. Uh, this isn't the first time I've seen this happen. Uh, another time I was uh, exploring in the mountains on my bicycle and I came across a, a leech that had just been run over by a farm truck, a big one like this. And it was very, very active, very ginky. And I stayed with it to see what would happen and uh, it died just like this one did. It's still got a little movement in it, but it's basically uh, it's leaned up on itself. It has released a great deal of slime and the blood has stopped coming out. A large amount of blood was coming out before. Now it's still pretty, uh, but the blood has stopped. It's curling in on itself here. Now um, let me just try to uh, take advantage of this opportunity to uh, examine the uh, creature a little bit in detail before I uh, remove it to a, a green place to uh, go back to the woods. The, um, as I mentioned before, and if you've seen my videos in the past, this is not a blood-sucking leech. This is a, uh, a carnivorous earthworm-eating leech. That's its favorite food. It enjoys eating the uh, Japan giant earthworm. It's coming to life a little bit there. Look at that. This is the uh, posterior section there. The, the mouth is on that side, and the uh, anterior sucker is on this side. Leeches are annelid worms with uh, all these segments. I'm, it's a shame I don't have my Zacti camera with its great macro feature. I can go in and show you close up. So that's not so bad. They did these segments, and in many annelids, the uh, segments, each segment will include identical pairs of organs. I'm not sure if that's the case with this particular creature. The uh, mouthpiece, the, this mouth here is, is enormous. It can uh, swallow uh, very large, open quite wide to ingest uh, worms. If I had my uh, Zacti, I could really get in and show that to you. It has eyes as well. Don't know if we can find them easily. I've seen the eyes on living creatures. The uh, earthworms, these uh, leeches come out to hunt the earthworms uh, in the open during uh, rainy days on rainy days when um, the uh, worms, as they do have elsewhere, they come out to, uh, ex to escape the watery soil from drowning. And these guys chase them down and eat them. They uh, bite into their uh, midsection and uh, swallow them in a double manner. Does that mean a double manner? And they swallow them uh, from this midsection on, so they basically fold them. Now, it's a shame I don't have a good good zoom. It's a shame that the leech has died. This is the first one for 2011. I've been out uh, looking for this creature in the mountains for uh, weeks now, hoping to find one on rainy days, and here I found one all of a sudden in, in the urban area of Shizuoka. Near, near a mountain, but uh, I was surprised. I never expected to see a leech in that area. And here it is. Even though it's still moving like this, it will be uh, dead soon. This is exactly what happened with the previous one that I encountered. So I'll take it to the... I won't bury it, just in case I'm wrong. But I will find a nice green spot to put it in where there's moisture and uh, the habitat that I know that these big leeches like so much. And then I'll have to come home and clean my hands. No one will... No one will be, no one in this family will be giving me any hugs or kisses for a while. There we go, the uh, first uh, Japanese giant uh, leech of uh, 2011. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.